Well, let's make some people upset. Tell us about the UBS Arena tickets. Um, yeah, so uh, it's re- it's really interesting. Um, well, I mean, look, it's it's sixty two hundred for AEW, and it's uh, what twenty. 20- 2500 i forgot the exact number 2300 2500 for um wwe um there are 10 days apart wwe comes first um it is a if there if this is the new york market it's a new arena quite frankly wwe you would think in the new arena would sell out but um you know there if ever there was um if ever there was any argument about john cena I mean, I'm not saying throughout his entire career, but but John Cena at this stage, going to house shows and being a draw, boy, did this the, this year end it because they were running around everywhere when he was working and they were selling tickets and they were doing really well. And now that he's not there, it is a you know it has gone from you know from great to so so, um, and maybe this in this case. In some cases, less than so-so. I mean, bad. There are definitely bad ones now, um, and there, there were, you know, there were a few. Um, and um, you know, uh, Monday's going to be one. Um, you know, even with Bianca Belair in Knoxville, it wasn't anything special. Um, you know, they basically opened. They didn't open up the upper deck. Now that's a big building too, but they didn't open the upper deck, and they only upper. Oh, they only opened fifty-five percent of the low deck, and even didn't even open up all of ringside. Um, and like in this, um, yeah, so, so WWE is, it's, it is now based on modern standards. They are struggling to sell tickets. And, but I mean, the idea that AEW in the New York market is outselling them, um, you know, by close to three to one, more than double, um, that is, um, I mean, it's something. I mean, it's and you know, I mean, what do you say? It's just it's, you know. I mean, uh, that's the one Vince needs to worry about. I think in some ways because that's the you know you can always excuse the the, the ratings now because of football and it's a, and it's a really viable excuse. I mean, like this week when when uh, AEW won, you know by you know, whatever it was. It was a very, very slim margin that they won. The fact is, if there was not that football game, WWE would have won. Of course, WWE also promised you a championship change and, and everything like that. Um, this week, um, you know, their hot shot is bringing Roman Reigns over, and the other, you know, the AW has really one hell of a TV show. Um, and WWE has to go into football, and it's not as strong a game, but it's still Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. So, um, I mean, it probably should be very close. I mean, I would almost, I would almost favor um, AEW right now to, to win it this week, um, but but maybe not. You know, it's not a, it's it's not a lock. WWE still got, um, you know, they still have certain advantages. But when it comes to selling live tickets right now, um, I, I'm I'm going to go look some stuff up. But I I mean, I think in this month. For sure, September, AW is going to be way ahead of WWE when it comes to ticket sales. And, um, you know, that that shouldn't be happening. Um, but it is. I mean, we're, it's it's uh, things have changed and they've changed. They've, they're, they're, they've changed very rapidly. Whether it continues like this, uh, who knows? Because we're still in kind of like that incubation period for um, Punk and Brian and um, Brian Danielson and adam cole and those guys are obviously the big movers and the big you know uh needle movers so to speak um and you know wwe really doesn't have that um uh you know i mean i guess maybe they have brock to a degree but that's about it and um but brock's not new you know i mean brock comes in all the time so brock and roman Reigns. so they got they basically it's going to be uh roman reigns against the demon and then it's going to be roman reigns against brock and then it's going to be roman reigns against biggie we know the next three pay-per-view main events hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com if you sign up today you get access to every single one of them 
the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.